our Lord's prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. Give us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. Like 
É fogo, é fogo, folha. É fogo, folha. A wangeli kufayo, belu. Jesus loko kete kete. I want get liko siana. Jesus loko kete kete. I want get liko siana. Ewa kajo tosi. Jesus no joba. Ewa kajo tosi. Jesus yo jo. E Jesus loko kete kete. I want get liko siana. Jesus loko kete kete. I want get liko siana. I want God to see Jesus. I want God to see Jesus. Yeah, Jesus, look on, get it, get it. I want God to see Jesus. 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 Jesus logo, Jesus logo, get it, get it. I want to get it, go see Anna. Jesus logo, get it, get it. I want to get it, go see Anna. I want to do Jesus, Jesus logo. I want to do do Jesus, Jesus logo, ba. Jesus logo, get it, get it. I want get liko siana. Jesus logo get se get se. I want get liko siana. I want get your jersey. I want get your jersey. I want want get your jersey. I want want get your jersey. Jesus logo get se get se. I want get liko siya. Jesus logo get se get se. I want get liko siya. I want get your jersey. Jesus no job. I want get your jersey. Jesus. I want I want get your jersey. I want get your jersey. Jesus logo get se get se. Jesus logo get se get se. I want to do do see. 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 Jesus logo get se get se. Jesus logo get se get se. Kawa geli kosiana. Jesus logo get se get se. Kawa geli kosiana. Jesus logo get se get se. Kawa geli kosiana. E waka jojo si. Jesus yo jo. E waka jojo si. Jesus logo get se get se. 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 Jesus logo 
neighbor. Brethren, shall we all confess our sins by reciting after me? Have mercy upon us, O God. According to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out our transgressions. Wash us thoroughly from our iniquities and cleanse us from our sins. For we acknowledge our transgressions and our sins are ever before us against thee. Thee only have we sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be cleared when thou judgest. Behold, we are shaping in iniquity, and in sin did our mother conceive us. Behold, thou desire truth in the world path, and in the hidden path. Thou shalt make us to know wisdom. Purge us with the blood of Jesus, and we shall be clean. Wash us, and we shall be whiter than snow. Make us to hear joy and gladness, that the bones with that broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from our sins, and blot out all our iniquity. Create in us a clean heart, O God. And renew a right spirit within us. Cast us not away from thy presence. And take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Restore unto us the joy of thy salvation. And uphold us with thy free spirit. Then shall we teach transgressors thy ways. And sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver us from blood guiltiness, O God. Thou God of our salvation. And our tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desire not in sacrifice, else we will give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. O God, thou will not despise. Do good in thy good pleasure unto we, Celestians. Build out the walls of salvation around us. Then shall thou be pleased with thy prayers and supplications. And now we shall dance and sing a song of praise around thy holy altar. Amen. Jehovah Rama. Jehovah Rama. Jehovah Rama. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. For he had founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that had clean hands and a pure heart. Who had not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessings from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O God of celestial. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Gloria. Glory be to the Father.
Jesus Christ, Holy Michael, Almighty and ever living Father. We, your children, are here before you as you have asked us to. Lord Almighty, we know ourselves but the sinner. In whatever way we have sinned unto you, Father, come and forgive us all our sins. We have sinned to you in our thoughts, in our words, and in our deeds. We have sinned unto you in things that we, are ought, we ought to do. And things we, are, we ought not to do. Lord, we have done them all. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, come and forgive them unto us. As a corporate body, we have sinned unto you. Individually, in our own way, we have sinned unto you. Lord Almighty, Father, by the power and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is shed on the cross of Calvary, Father, wipe away all our sins, O Lord. Lord Almighty, you are the God of sanctification. We commit our body, mind, and soul into your able hands, Father, dear Lord, come and sanctify us. Our altar is before you, Father, come and sanctify. We commit the four corners of this church into your holy hands, Father, come and sanctify. All our brethren on their ways, Father, sanctify them as well. And for those listening unto us and watching us online, Father, dear Lord, sanctify them as well. Father, dear Lord, you are the God who owns everything. Father, dear Lord, we commit today's service into your hands, Father, come and take able control, O Lord. Be with us throughout this service, Father, dear Lord. Every spirit that is contrary to your will, Father, put them to shame today, O Lord. Be our guide, O Lord. Be our strength, O Lord. Direct and order our steps today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Our Lord's prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is thy kingdom, the power and thy glory, forever and ever. Amen. 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 You may have your seat. Brethren, we shall proceed with today's service by singing from a hymn book, hymn number 126.
Lia. E Lia. E Lia. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, because his mercies endure forever. Let Celestia now say that his mercy endure forever. Let the congregation now say, endure it forever. Let them that fear the Lord now say that his mercies endure it forever. We call upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered us and set us in a large place. The Lord is on our side. We will not fear. What can man do unto us? The Lord take it apart with them that helped us. Therefore, shall we see our desire upon them that hate us? It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All nations come past us about. For in the name of the Lord, we will destroy them. They come past us about. Yea, they come past us about. But in the name of the Lord, we will destroy them. They come past us about like bees. They are quenched as the fire of thorns. For in the name of the Lord, we will destroy them. Thou trust so at us that we might fall. For the Lord helped us. The Lord is our strength and song. And has become our salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacle of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord dwells valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. Amen. The right hand of the Lord dwells valiantly. Holy. We will not die, but live. To declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has chastened us so, but he had not given us over unto death. Open to us the gate of righteousness. We will go into them and we will praise the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord into which the righteous shall enter. We will praise thee. For thou hast had us and hast become our salvation. The stone which the builder refused is become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord had made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, we beseech thee. O oh Lord, O oh Lord, we beseech thee. Send now prosperity. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. God is the Lord who had showed us light. Bind the sacrifice with God, even unto the horns of the altar. Thou art our God, we will praise thee. Thou art our God, we will exalt thee. We will give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. For his mercies endure forever. Gloria. Father, you are worthy of our praise. Lord, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Lord Almighty, we thank you especially for giving us the grace to witness today. A day which you, the Lord, have made and we are rejoicing in it. This time last year, some people were here and today they are no more. It is not by our power or might, Lord, 
but just by sheer grace, oh Lord, you have kept us till today. And so, Lord, we say thank you. Father, accept our thanks. You've given us the grace to witness another Palm Sunday in the land of the living. This is not our doing. Lord, it is only by your sheer grace, mighty God. We woke up this morning. We were able to stand up from our bed. You gave us the grace to get dressed and come to your house and worship you. This is worthy of thanks. Lord, accept our thanks. We thank you, O Lord, for the food we eat. We thank you, Father, for covering our nakedness. We thank you, O Lord, for keeping us. We thank you, O Lord, for guiding our footsteps. We thank you most especially for ordering our steps. Lord, accept our thanks. Mighty and ever-living Father, we thank you, O Lord, that you did not allow the wishes of the enemies to prevail over us. You kept us, you watch over us. Most especially our children, you guard and guard and protect them. They go about their daily bread, they go to school, they come back safely. This is not our doing but your grace, O Lord. Lord, accept our thanks. Almighty Father, we thank you over all our women. Father, you made them mothers to keep house and to watch over their children. Lord Almighty, accept our thanks. We thank you, Father, dear Lord, for our fathers in the Lord. Father, you give them grace to be fathers and to keep house, Father. Lord Almighty, accept our thanks. We thank you over each and everyone in this parish. We have no reason to weep or mourn over any one of us. This is worthy of thanks. Father, accept our thanks. Father, dear Lord, we thank you especially for today. That you've given us the grace to worship before you today. Some want to be here, but they do not have the will. Father, some are in hospital. Some don't even know what they are doing. To be, enable them to come before you. But you have given us perfect and sound health to be before you today. This is what your thanks, Lord, accept our thanks. Father, we ask that you continue to put us in a position of thanks always. Be with us, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord, we pray. We shall continue our service. By singing hymn number 133.
judgment, O God, and thy righteousness unto the king's son, shall judge thy people with righteousness, and thy poor with judgment. The mountains shall bring peace to the people, and the little hills by righteousness. He shall judge the poor of the people, he shall save the children of the needy, and shall break in pieces the oppressor. He shall fear thee as long as the sun and moon endure it. Throughout all generations. It shall come down like rain upon the mown grass, as showers that were thread the earth. In his days shall the righteous flourish, an abundance of peace so long as the moon endureth. He shall have dominion also from sea to sea, and from the rivers unto the ends of the earth. They that dwell in the wilderness shall bow before him, and his enemies shall lick the dust. The king of Tashish and of Isles shall bring present. The king of Sheba and Sheba shall offer gifts. Yea, all kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall serve him. For he shall deliver the needy when he cried. The poor also and him that had no helper. He shall spare the poor of the needy. And shall save the souls of the needy. He shall redeem their soul from deceit and violence. And precious shall their blood be in his sight. And he shall live, and to him shall be given the gold of Sheba. Prayer also shall be made for him continually, and daily shall he be praised. There shall be a handful of corn in the earth upon the top of the mountain. The fruit thereof shall shake like Lebanon, and they of the city shall flourish like grass of the earth. His name shall endure forever. His name shall be continued as, lo as long as the sun and men shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of celestia, who only dwell wondrous things, and blessed be his glorious name forever. And let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Brethren, it is now time for us to go into three members' prayers. The first, a male, shall pray for spiritual power and progress. The second, a female, she will pray for victory, prote protection, and also remember our children in her prayers. And the third, a male, shall pray for blessings, God's favor, and peace all over the world. Prayer as directed. Holy. 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 Our Father and our God, you are the only true God. You are the one that dwells in the light. You are the one that has created man in your own image. And you put your spirit in man. So that man can have an inheritance with you. But man derailed, man sinned, and man lost that glory. And then you decided to send forth your son so that man can have his place back in you. Father, we come before you at this hour, seeking your face and seeking your power, seeking a visitation from you. Father, pour out your spirit upon us in Jesus' name. Amen. Even on this day, that we remember those prisoners of hope, who has hope in you, that you sent forth your son, their king, to redeem them. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, 
Let this day have a significant, significant in our life in Jesus' name. Amen. He told the disciples to reside in Jerusalem until they receive power from on high. We are here in expectation. We are here looking unto you. And we have read of instances of people that look unto you and they receive from you. Father, do not let us go back home in vain in Jesus' name. We place the church before you. We place the elders before you. We place the parishioners before you. Father, pour out your spirit upon us in Jesus' name. Amen. As your spirit comes into us, anything that is not of you, that will not allow us to obey your will, that will not allow us to follow your instruction, that will not allow us to live our life in accordance with your will, let your spirit cast it out in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. We want this church to progress. Father, in the name of Jesus, let this church progress in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. We place the church of Christ as a whole into your hand and into your care. Let your spirit that you have used to descend this church, let it be evident in this church in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayer. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Even on this day of visitation, as you visit us once again, to show that you are indeed our king, to show that you have come to set us free, that our hearts should be full of rejoicing, let that rejoicing radiate round about us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for answer prayer. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Je Jehovah. Holy. Jesus Christ. Holy. Holy Michael. Holy. Our Heavenly Father. We thank you once again for you told us to do this in your remembrance. And we have stepped into it to do according to your will. We thank you for today. Father, accept all our thanks. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, this is the period that you've already been releasing your salvation onto the world. When you were in our midst, they did not recognize you. But in the end, you revealed to them who you are. And this is why we continually call upon your name. We thank you for allowing us to continually to call your name. Father, accept our thanks. Amen. Holy Spirit is from you, my Lord. You said your Holy Spirit is what we need in our life. And this time that we are rejoicing in your presence, Father, release your Holy Spirit into our life. Into everything we do in our family, release your Holy Spirit into our family. In everything we do in our places of work in schools, let your Holy Spirit take control in Jesus' name. Amen. Everything we will be doing, let your Holy Spirit take, give us guidance and direction. Amen. Father, we believe in you. We trust in you. You have told us in Psalm 54 that you will teach our children the way of the Lord. And not only that, they are offspring and generation to generation. We pray unto you today, Father, let it be so in Jesus' name. Amen. Because we have no other God beside you. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, But we believe in you and we trust in you. And it is in you that we are getting nourishment. Father, do not leave us alone. Amen. You have told us that you will not cast us away from your presence. Let it be so in Jesus' name. Amen. For the people are watch, they are in the world, but we are in you. Who you are and who, who you as our creator, release your full power into us. Release your full strength into us. Release your full wisdom into us. Release your full knowledge into us. Release your full understanding into us. In everything we do, Father, continue to guide us. Amen. Because we want to be, want to be good product unto you. Therefore, fill us with the fruit of the Spirit. Amen. Because we know we, are, we lack in these areas, my Lord. Fill us up with the fruit of the Spirit, as spoken in Galatians, in Jesus' name. Father, all our children are before you. They are the oracle that you are using because they are your future. But they are already your future because they have stepped into their calling. All I'm asking you, my Lord, do not let them fall. Do not allow Satan to come to tempt them. Amen. When things are going well for them in your work, do not allow Satan to come to destroy them. Amen. Remember, you are the one who called Satan to tempt Job. But we take it that that has been forgotten. Please, Father, because Christ, you have died for us. You have shed your blood on Calvary. You have not done it in vain. And you are the last Messiah for our sake. I beg you, my Lord, as our children have stepped into their calling, because you have called them in diverse um, places that you've called them into. Some are teachers, some are evangelists, some are apostles, some are prophets, 
some are um, shepherds. All these calling areas that you've called our children into, as they took up your mantle, my Lord, empower them and strengthen them. Amen. And we, their parents as well, do not let us be onlookers. Let us, be, let us carry on in our good work before you. We remember all our pregnant ones, my Lord, at this hour. I beg you, my Lord, let them all deliver safely. Amen. Do not let there be any complication. Amen. As you've been delivering those before them, those who are yet to put to bed, let them deliver safely in Jesus' Amen. name. And those who are seekers, looking up, um, up unto you for blessing of the womb, because you have not cast anyone away from your presence, and you've told them not to doubt about themselves, because everything is in your domain. Time to conceive is known to you. Time to marry is known to you. Time to... Time to celebrate our birthdays is known to you. Everything has been done accordingly to your will. And it is your plan. All I beg you today as you have come into our midst, that we are doing this um, Palm Sunday in your remembrance. Remember them in Jesus' name. Do not let them feel forgotten. With your pleasure, fill their womb up so that they will, they will be blessed with children from you. Amen. And other seekers are before you. Wherever they want your help, Father, come into their head. Amen. Everyone are seekers come into our head. Amen. And all our prophet that you are using for us, do not allow the spirit of flesh to use them. Amen. Let your true spirit from heaven above that you are descending into them to give us good vision, to give us good revelation. Let it dominate their life in Jesus' Amen. name. Do not allow any false prophet to come into our midst Amen. that will come and dis destabilize what you have stabilized for us in this parish and in our homes. Father, everybody, every arms of the church is before you, which are ministries that you have appointed yourself. Because you have called them, my Lord, let your spirit continue to guide them. Every one of us, my Lord, as we are rejoicing in your presence today, when the offering time comes as well, we will rejoice in your presence. Continue to give us your victory. Amen. Never depart from us. We remember Amen. this nation, my Lord. This is where we reside. This is where we get our daily feeding. Father, empower this nation. Amen. Help the government in everything they do. Amen. And at the same time, Nigeria is before you and every other Western countries, that you, all the African countries that we have come out from. We remember them this hour that you, you are riding on the donkey, that people are rejoicing in your presence. Remember all this country, my Lord, and send peace down into such countries. Let every government that is there be under your authority. Amen. Do not allow any spirit of flesh to rule any nation in Jesus' name. Amen. For the sake of we, your children, let peace reign everywhere. We Amen. thank you for your peace in this parish. Amen. We thank you for peace in our home. Amen. We thank you for peace in everywhere we go. In Amen. your mighty name, our Lord Jesus Christ, I have prayed. Amen. Holy. Right. Holy. Holy, my dear. Holy. Our loving Father. How mighty are you? Lord, be thou exalted. We thank you, Lord, for today. You made us again to see another day in our life. To be a partaker of this new Palm Sunday. Father, accept our thanks. We can't do anything without your words. Because we are church of believing of, of, the, uh, of the Bibles. In your presence, there's fullness of joy. May our joy has no bound. Amen. We thank you, God, for giving us a new baby in this church again. Father, accept our thanks. Amen. We can only rejoice and give you thanks. And you say, come to me with thanks. That what you require from us. And we are giving you the glory. Without you, there's no life. Without you, there's no existence. Without you, there's no progress. But you count us worthy. And you shower all this upon us. Father, accept our thanks. This church, Elephant and Castro, is before you, Father. I want you to walk around around us. Be in our midst, particularly this week of Holy Week. We are not pure. We are not sincere to you, Lord. We have still in all ways that belongs to you. For this case, Father, shower your blessing over us. Amen. Forgive us all our wrongdoings, Father. We have short, come short of your glory. 
But your grace is everlasting. May this one has no bound. Amen. My Lord, my God, we thank you for our life. Thank you, Lord. We thank you that we can come to you. We thank you for this house we call church that you have given to us. Father, look down from your holy habitations. Go stretch into our heart. All our pending problems, Lord, you can solve it for us. Some are crying as I'm praying to now, now. Some are weeping, Lord, but ours is not like that. Father, thank you. Thank you for making us to be a human today. Father Lord, we thank you immensely for your mercy. We can only continue to thank you. This is due for you. Lord, bless us spiritually. Amen. Bless us materially. Amen. And I place all those that are working under government. They are self-employed. You know what is going on in the country now, Father. Sustain them. Amen. Guide them. Amen. Replenish their pocket. Amen. As for our children, Lord, we place them before you. They were our heritage. They are our pride. Father, lead them through. Amen. Oluwa mo be o ma je kini omo ko jo wa omo to n pa wa lerin ko ma pa wa lekun ni ojo oto ni oluwa dupe lowo oyin fun awon eso ti e fi fun lori ijo yi won se won rere won dagba loju wa won goke ma jo subu father lord we remember those that are not here with us Particularly those that are sick on bed and they are members of this church. Father, heal them. Amen. By virtue of today, Father, let them receive healing. Amen. All members of this church, wherever they are, for one thing or the other, they cannot be partaker of this service. They cannot join us in service. God, you know them more than us. I pray, perform your word on them. Amen. Let them have the loose to come and join us. We thank you for this church. We thank you for our gathering. Thank you, Lord. This is where we share words of God. And we are happy to come down here. Father, continue to lead us through. Amen. Continue to guide us. Amen. Give us your spirit. Give us your love. Amen. And let your mercy radiate in our life. Amen. These and more I ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We shall continue our service by singing hymn 209.
to commune with God, to bring our supplications before him. Silent prayers.
ready? Let us begin to round up our prayers. Amen. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Eli Bama Yaba. Eli Bama Yaba. Eli Bama Yaba. The Lord hear us in the day of trouble. In the name of the God of celestial defend us. Send us help from the sanctuary. And strengthen us out of his holy place. Remember all our offerings. And accept our burnt sacrifice. Grant us according to our own heart. And fulfill all our counsel. We will rejoice in thy salvation. And in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. The Lord fulfill all our petitions. Now know we that the Lord's Savior is anointed. He will hear us from his holy heavens. With the saving strength of his right hand, some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen. But we are risen and stand upright. Save Lord. Let the king hear us when we call. Jehovah. Jesus Christ. Holy Michael. Father, with thanksgiving, we bring our supplication before you. In kneeling down, our kneeling down is equal, but various and diverse are our needs. You know them more than we do, Father, dear Lord. And we have called upon you as a, fa as a child unto his father. Your word says a child cannot ask for bread and his father give him stone. Neither will a child ask for fish and the father gives him snake. Because we believe and trust in you, Father, dear Lord, we have asked of you today. Father, those things that will befit us and befit your glory, Father, bestow them on us, O oh Lord. You know our needs more than we do. Father, we ask that you open doors for us, doors of opportunities, doors of blessings, doors of prosperity, doors of favor. Lord, Father, open them unto us today, O oh Lord. El Morija is your name. You are the God of blessing. Wherever we go in the four corners of this world, Father, dear Lord, rain your blessings upon us, O oh Lord. Let men and women Show us favor, O oh Lord. Almighty Father, both merited and unmerited favor, Lord, bestow them on us, Father. You are the balm of Gilead. By your stripes, O oh Lord, we pray that each and every person, both here present and those at home and in the hospital, Father, that you touch them, O oh Lord. Lord Almighty, we pray for our children. Lord, continually protect them, O Lord. Guard and watch their footsteps, O Lord. We pray for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on them, Father. Lord, bestow this on them, Father, dear Lord. And for those who are seeking you, for one thing or the other, Father, you know, they are, you know our needs. Lord, give unto us according to your wish, O Lord. Almighty Father, I pray for this church, Elephant and Castle. Let your church continue to grow from strength to strength. Be with us, O Lord. Never leave us. Never forsake us. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord, we pray. We shall continue our service by singing hymn 1 to 8.
trono. The first lesson, the first lesson for this devotional worship, a remembrance of the triumphant entry of our Lord Jesus Christ into Jerusalem, shall be taken from the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, reading from verse 9 through to 20. The first lesson for this Palm Sunday worship is taken from the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, from verse 9 through to 20. The last chapter of Zephaniah, commencing the reading from verse 9 through to the last verse. And I read. For then will I turn to the people a pure language, that they may all call upon the name of the Lord, to serve him with one consent. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my suppliant, even the daughter of my despair, shall bring me my offering. In that day shall thou not be ashamed for all thy doing. Wherein thou hast transgressed against me. For then I will take away out of the midst of thee them that rejoice in thy pride. And thou shalt no more be haughty because of my holy mountain. I will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people. And they shall trust in the name of the Lord. The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies. Neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. For they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. Sing, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord hath taken away thy judgment. He hath cast out thy enemy, the king of Israel, even the Lord, is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil anymore. In that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not, and to Zion, let not thy hand be slack. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly. Who are of thee? To whom the reproach of it was a burden. Verse 19. At that time, I will undo all that afflict thee. And I will save her that altered, and gather her that was driven out. And I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Verse 20, the last verse. At that time, will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you. For I will make you a name and a praise among all the people of the earth. When I turn back your captivity before your eye, saith the Lord. That's the reading of the lesson. May the Lord bless the reading, the hearing, and the doing of his word for the salvation of our soul. Gloria.
service by singing him five three three.
Second Bible reading for today's Palm Sunday service shall be taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 19, reading from verse 29 to 40. The Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 19. Reading, reading from verse 29 on to 40. And it reads, And it came to pass, when he was come nigh unto Bethphage and Bethany, at the mount called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go ye into the village over against you, in the which at your entering you shall find a cult tied, whereon yet never man sat. Lose him and bring him hither. Verse 31. And if any man ask you, why do you lose him? Thus shall you say unto him, because the Lord had need of him. And they that were sent went their way, and found he even as he had said unto them. And as they were losing the cult, the owners thereof said unto them, Why lose ye the cult? And they said, The Lord had need of him. Verse 35. And they brought him to Jesus, and they cast their garments upon the cult, and they set Jesus thereon. And as they went, they spread their clothes in the way. And when he was come nigh, even unto the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen, saying, Blessed be the king that cometh in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Verse 39. And some of the Pharisees from among the multitude said unto him, Master, rebuke thy disciples. Verse 40, which is the last verse. And he answered and said unto them, 
I tell you that if this you hold your peace, the stones will immediately cry out. Here ends the reading. May the Lord bless his holy words. Gloria. service by singing him number one two seven Oh, 
Hosanna. I can even hear the kids louder than the parents. It is a testament that your strength for tomorrow. However, the good Lord has been kind to you and your household. The third month had passed, yet you are still standing. And this is significant entry into Jerusalem has four meanings. One, it represents victory for you and I. It is a testament that whatsoever we go through, we shall triumph. And three, that his peace will always be with you. And more, in, and more importantly, that eternal life will be yours and I. So, I want you to chant a very powerful Hosanna. When he went in, he was worshipped. And may his name be worshipped forever in Jesus' name. Hosanna. Happy Palm Sunday to you and your household. From the shepherd's office, office of the parochial committee chairman, and the entire parochial committee, I say happy Palm Sunday to you. And may his entry into Jerusalem bring to you and your household eternal peace. I welcome you to today's service. You couldn't have been at a better place at this point in time. I say thank you for choosing to fellowship with us at this point in time. And when we shall celebrate exactly the same service next year, everything that concerns you shall never be found wanting in Jesus' name. If you're new in our midst, if this is the first time of fellowshipping with us in person, or perhaps online, I want to say thank you one more time. And if you are in our midst today, please do not go without you indicating yourself. Please see any of the sidesmen or sideswomen or see any of the secretariat, any members of the secretariat. We are a Bible-believing church. Christ is the basis and he will forever be the foundation of our worship. For who we are, we belong to a body of those who worship Christ and not just worship him, we worship him wholeheartedly. As a true follower of Christ, please let there be silence in the house of God. As true followers of Christ, our lifestyle is founded in purity holiness, as well as cleanliness. As a member of the Celestial Church of Christ, we live by certain tenets. And when we follow this, we believe strongly that God answers our prayers. Number one, as a member of Celestial Church of Christ, you are strongly prohibited from belonging as a full-time member, part-time member, or a financier to any fetish, occultic, or clandestine organization. Number two, fornication or adultery is prohibited in our midst. Number three, the consumption of pork or any of pork's byproduce is not allowed. Number four, the smoking of cigarettes, the usage of tobacco or any substance that is capable 
of altering your reasoning, please, you are strongly advised to do away from such. Number five, drinking of alcohol is not allowed. Six, the usage of red or black apparel is not allowed. These things, to you, they might look nice. But as a church, we believe they have spiritual meanings. However, if this happens to be your official uniform or the uniform of your school, you are exempted from this particular tenant. And to my mothers and my sisters, during your monthly biological cycle, please stay away from the church premises. For the first seven days, and on the eighth day, come in for sanctification. To those that will be coordinating our services for the next seven days, today, the sermon will be delivered by our shepherd in charge. And tomorrow, being the commencement of the Passion Week, we will be having services more like the breaking of fast every evening. The service tomorrow will be led by assistant leader Roti Anoba. He will take the only lesson and he will also feed us with the words of God. Tuesday 4th, Elder Emmanuel Adesoya will coordinate affairs. Wednesday 5th, Superior Senior Leader Daniel Akitunde will be in charge. Thursday, there are a couple of services on Thursday. For the breaking of fast, that will be led by Venerable, sorry, that's the wrong one. That's most senior evangelist David Adeoye. And the time is always 6 p.m. In the evening, for the washing of feet, which will start by 8 p.m., the service will be led by the shepherd. The only lesson will be taken by Assistant Venerable Superior Evangelist Otter. The sermon will be delivered by our shepherd in charge. On the same day, by 10 p.m., the new moon service commences. The new moon service will hold in conjunction with the Holy Communion. So once you come in for the, new, for the washing of feet, you will stay behind for the new moon service as, the, as well as the washing of feet, as well as the Holy Communion, pardon me. Service will be led by the shepherd in church. The lesson, Evangelist Goyega Adekombi, and the sermon by our shepherd in church. Service starts by 10 p.m. On Friday, Good Friday, we will be having service every 33 hours. The 9 o'clock service will be led by our father in charge, Superior Evangelist Samson Nejo. 12 o'clock, Superior Evangelist Benga Akonde. And 3 o'clock, which is very, very important for you and I. The service will be led by our shepherd in charge. Only lesson, Assistant Venerable Superior Evangelist Osho. And the sermon will be delivered by our shepherd in charge. Please, for those that we've announced their names, if there is any reason you are unable to make any of the services, please let us know at the Secretariat so we can make arrangements as soon as possible. Next Sunday, the service will be led by most senior evangelist Olua Sheyi Bada. First lesson, honorary evangelist Ikenna. Second lesson, honorary senior evangelist Damilari Falai. And the sermon will be delivered by the shepherd in charge. As we all know, if you mount in any of the pulpits, ensure you are in your full regalia as well as if you're going into the altar. Please, 
If you are preaching on Sunday, 30 minutes is the allotted time. During the week is 20 minutes. And let's carry everyone along in English language. Additional announcement. As I alluded to earlier on, if you are a new member in our midst, it's important you meet members of the welfare committee. Please, if you are new, see any members of the side women or side men or side women, or please see us at the secretariat. We will point you in the right direction. On May the seventh, the church will be having its baptismal exercise. If you are interested, please see us at the secretariat to drop your name or see Super Evangelist Oyelaki in the Sunday school. Today, if time permits, we will try and launch the album of our Father in the Lord, our Son Venerable Super Evangelist Job, after the service. And next Sunday, it is time to gather to celebrate one of our own who is launching his album. Honorary Senior Evangelist Damilari Falayi. He's made every preparation for you and I. It's just for us to honor him. He's done a lot for the parish. This is one time to also celebrate him. Please, let's come all out to celebrate with him next Sunday. He's also made an arrangement for the church van. If you want to go, you can join the church van as well. And the venue, if you're traveling down yourself, is Concord House, RM8, 1ST. And the program starts 5 p.m. Next Sunday, April 9th, on Easter Sunday. The youth ministry will be having their annual retreat. Their annual retreats. This year, they'll be celebrating the 20th anniversary. It will take place over July 14th to 16th. 20 pounds per head. For children between the age of 16 and 18, there is a consent form you are required to sign. The youth-wide annual youth conf conference also will take place this month, April 28th to April 30th, at CCC Emmanuel Parish 1, Vienna, in Austria. This year, they will be celebrating our Father who slept in the Lord, Superior Evangelist, Leke Ogunyale. Please, the next announcement is very important. As we all know, exactly two months' time, we will be celebrating the juvenile harvest. And it is one time we all come together to bless God for our children, for his faithfulness over them, for his guidance and his protection. One way we can do this is to all dip our hands in our pocket and support the Harvest Committee as well as the Sunday School. This year, the Harvest Levy is £20 per child. £20 per child. The field officers from next Sunday will be going around, if not today, and they are Mother Celestial Elizabeth Thomas, Evangelist Boyega Adekombi, Superior Senior Leader Daniel Akitunde, Leader Akikpelu, Sister Debbie Yoke, and Cape Elder Sister Kemi Adewumi. Please see them and pay for your children during, for the harvest levy. And also, all executive members of the harvest committee, there is a meeting immediately after the service. All message writers, please do not rush home. Make sure you see Mother Celestia or Jela, uh, Mother Celestia Fawayimi, please. All message writers, even if you are experienced or you are still a trainee, see Mother Celestia Fawayimi before you go. Also, all our young mommies and our young daddies that are over 70, there is a meeting with the shepherd next Sunday. We call them their youngest. So they have a meeting with the shepherd next Sunday, immediately after the service. So we'll go to that age and beyond in Jesus' name. Spiritual assignments. As we announced last week, 
We were required to come in with a jar of honey. Please continue to pray on this. And after the service, there will be a congregational prayer that we're going to pray on this. As we know, Venerable Superior Evangelist Dr. Owolabi, who slept in the Lord not too long ago, will begin his final journey on earth on April the 13th. There will be service of songs in Manchester on April 13th. And on 14th of April, he will be committed to Mother Earth. If you are interested in traveling down to Manchester, the church van will leave on Friday. Pardon me, I've just been corrected that this has to be 5 a.m. in the morning. If you want to join the church van, please make sure you are in church before 5 a.m. The bus leaves 5 a.m. in the morning on April 14th, and they will come back on the same day. Please, to prepare for the logistics, see Mother Celestial to show in card to indicate your interest so that we can plan accordingly. And as you all know, during the course of the week, a new secretary was born. We have a new secretary. Some say he belongs to the choir. Some say he belongs to the prophetic ministry. Some say he belongs to the secretariat. Every child will be brought the reward of their parents. This is a typical example. Prophet Solomon and Sister Hope Ginodu had a baby boy on Friday, March the 13th. So on Friday, on Good Friday, after our service, please do not rush home. The service starts by 6 p.m. Solomon said, I should tell you, if you can afford not to break your fast from Monday, keep fasting till next Friday. He's capable. To bless the name of the Lord, shall we rise up on our feet and chant seven hosannas to bless the name of the Lord? Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. The Lord be with the family in Jesus' name. On to birthday celebrants. Brother Olua Kemi Oduola, Sister Deborah Adeshino, Brother Ife Osho, all celebrated their birthday on the 27th. Sister Tokumbo Dave, Sister Damilola Oduneye, both celebrated on the 28th. Superior Evangelist Raymond Kuforiji, Sister Grace Shoyinka, Brother Joseph Akinsoya, Lydia Adekunle Adejuibe, all celebrated on the 30th. Sister Mary Taiwo, Cape Elder Sister Yemi Ashama, Mother Celestia Sheishoyola Kushi, celebrated on the 31st. Also, Mother Celestia Omomumi Fisher, celebrated on the 31st as well. Brother Adebo Wale Ogumbekun, celebrated on the 1st. And today, Brother Joshua Akonde is celebrating his 21st. So we wish him a very happy birthday. The chairman will feed us all. Don't worry. And Sister Tokwe Okeowo, they are both celebrating their birthday. It is my prayer that all the celebrants, the Lord will lengthen your days in good health and in sound mind. And before I stop... Can I just leave you with these words? I want you to always remember one thing. There is no such thing as a small act of kindness. Every act you dish out will always create a ripple that has no logical end. For everyone you see in this temple today, in this auditorium today, be kind to them. For everyone you see, give them a smile. And as you do so, the Lord will put a smile on your face as well. 
And to end the announcement, so just an additional one. Superior Evangelist ranking, there will be 40 days remembrance service next Sunday. I will post the details on the church WhatsApp platform. That is the end of the announcement for now. I want to say thank you for your patience and your listening. It is my prayer that your service of today shall be acceptable in the sight of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hosanna. 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 All profess our faith by reciting the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. It descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the celestial church of Christ, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Prayer by the Samana. Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Holy Michael, our Father in heaven, as you are mandated, today is your holy day. We have come to you, Father, come and visit us today. Amen. The time is now here for me to express my views about you to your congregation. Please speak through me. Amen. All I shall say today, let it be directed by thee, Amen. now and forevermore. Demora gesini joi Ijo me mokoni Ijo ile yini yowa Yo 
ya doso Patu mbaka ya sake Ile kwa ya gaje Kia mbaka kwa wadu ile mima Hawa mbere Wanita ni ya mbaka na Hani ya lu wato le ni ya gu Kusila wacho Kusila wacho Kusila wacho Sunday service, a day our God has chosen for us to be glad and to rejoice. I thank the choir for all these melodious songs you have sung today. Of course, today is a day of joy, although it's a bit excessive, because we have been singing since quarter past twelve. It is now 25 to 1. So we have taken a marathon uh, song today, but it doesn't matter. Tomorrow I am on leave anyway. I'm not going to work. <laughs> and the children are not also going to school. And I'm sure all the university students, they are also not going anywhere. So we can be here till tomorrow morning. There's no problem. Uh, before I start my sermon, I want to tell you that uh, a special message has been delivered. They are going to give you a candlestick each. The only body is we arrange that. And uh, we are expected to pray. If you are grudging anyone, they say you should forgive them. You should pray into the candle. 
and ask that you are forgiving whoever you are grudging or is grudging you. I have just been told that I didn't make this up. I promise you. In fact, I don't make things up. I am too good to making anything up. Uh, my sermon today, I want to thank you as well, the choir, because uh, my sermon today is about integrity. And when they started to sing, I said they are in spirit. It is about integrity. In fact, I have gone to the scripture and I've been able to identify about seven, seven books which I'm going to refer to. But of course, we must talk about today, which is Palm Sunday. The day God felt that um, Jesus Christ, you know, it stand, what he did that time was like, if you ask somebody, go into that showroom and take out the best car and bring it. If anybody asks you, tell me, tell them Sami Dowu or whoever wants to use the car. That was exactly what Jesus Christ did. He said, go into that village and you'll find a, a car, a, an ass, untie it and bring it. And if they ask you, why are you doing this? Is it yours? Just tell them the God has a need of it. Before we go there, let us, the uh, verse I have chosen from um, Zephaniah chapter 3 is actually verse 15 of that book. See all those uh, prophets with only three, two, five chapters, they, 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 they are not generally very popular, but of course they were popular during their days, and because they were sent special messages, all of them, they were asked to deliver special messages to, to, to the Israelites or to whoever. So if anybody sees verse 15 of the that... The Lord has taken away your righteous... Benny. 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 Hallelujah. We shall see no evil no more. That is the promise of the Lord to us. He has taken away judgment. And of course, if you don't want to be judged, don't judge anyone. Don't put yourself in the seat of judgment and you are, you are deciding who has done what or who has not done what. God has told us, it's, it's a special message to us today that none of us will see evil anymore. Yeah. And evil will not see us anymore. Yeah. The chapter, of course I read the, the, the three chapters of the book. They were just about messages of what God was going to do to them, the nation, the people, all, all these various people that uh, God loved those days, and he still loved them today. And uh, we look at ourselves as the Israelites of today. We are dearly loved. We thank God that this church had descended during our lifetime. I'm sure if you all look back at your lives, you will be able to see what marvelous celestial church is. And of, of course, it will continue to be a great church, no matter what people say about the church. Right, so we, we, we thank God for, for the opportunity we have to, to, to be here today, and my prayer is that we we'll all go home with his blessing. The time came when Jesus Christ needed to go into Jerusalem. And to do that, perhaps they could have walked, but he wanted to show the grace the mightiness of God in him. That was exactly why he asked for that ass to be a common ass. Go and bring an ass. I want to ride an ass, he said. And they did. And of course, the ass did not belong to him. Let us go to Luke 19, which I think is the chapter. And it, and it came to pass. Please hold on and just think of first Luke 19. Okay, yep, I'm doing 22. Right, I'm there now. And I think it's from verse, is it from verse? Uh, 
Is it 19? 29. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yes. Okay. Right. Please, can you start from, from the first uh, verse of, not of the book, of where we read in the, in the lesson? What verse? Gospel according to St. Luke. 19. Chapter 19. Yeah. Okay. Please read, read the relevant... Uh, and it came to pass. Yes, it came to pass. When he drew near to Bethphage and Bethany, yes. at the mountain called Oliver, that he sent two of his disciples, Benny. saying, Go into the village opposite you, where as you enter, Benny. you will find a cult tide, Benny. on which on one has ever sat. Lose it and bring it here. Benny. And if anyone asks you, why are you losing it? Yes. Thus you shall say to him, because the Lord has need of it. Amen. So those who were sent went their way and found it just as he has said to them. But as they were losing the cult, Amen. the owners of it said to them, Of course the owner will ask, what are you doing? What do you think you are doing? Why are you losing the cult? And you said, the Lord has need of him. Then they brought him to Jesus and they threw their own clothes on the cult and they set Jesus on him. And as he went, many spread their clothes on the road. Then as he was now drawing near the desert of Mount Olive, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and Hallelujah. praise God. Hallelujah. Let us stop there. He the cult has now been brought. And of course, if there's a, hall, a, a cult, what must happen? He must be reading. And so he laid himself on it. And he was going towards Jerusalem. And this had been written years back that he will ride triumphantly into Jerusalem. So he set himself on it. On the, and of course, he had been chosen by God. Some will see it, some will not see it. In fact, some will def def definitely will not want to see it. But those who saw it and were glorifying God, they were shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. This is the king of the world, Oba Araye. And of course, those who would never see good things, they would say, what do you think? Shut your mouth, don't shout, don't say. Don't. And of course, what did Jesus say? He said, if these people who are shouting, Hosanna, king of this, God of that, if you were to silence them, the stones will start to sink and they will start to glorify God. And of course, these are signs for us to know that God is God and he will always be God. Please read on. Oh, have we got to 40? No. Yeah. All right. Okay. And he said in a loud voice, saying, yes. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Amen. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Hallelujah. Oh, Hosanna, sorry. Hosanna. Oh, Hosanna. <laughs> And some of the Pharisees called to him from the crowd, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. But he answered and said to them, Benny. I tell you that if they should keep silent, Benny. the stones will immediately cry out. Hallelujah. Hosanna, sorry. Ozana. I am getting carried away. Hosanna. Hosanna. He told them, if these people were silenced, but some other things will start to shout Hosanna for, for God. So therefore, the week is a very important week for us. From tomorrow, we will start to fast. And we cannot do all this for nothing. It is better to settle our quarrels before we go into tomorrow to start to fast. Fasting, we would definitely do. And we would don't want to do it for nothing. We don't want to do it in vain. 
So this is why I have then decided that today I will talk about integrity. I, like I said earlier on, I have looked into the scripture and I've identified some areas that have interest to anybody who wants to be of integrity. So I want somebody to look at Proverb chapter 11, verse 3 for me. Proverb 11, 3. Benny. Benny. But the perversity of the unfaithful Benny. will destroy them. God bless you. Sit down. That, that, that's the first one. For you to be guided by God, please, wherever you find yourself, be a person of integrity. Some people will only show good behavior when they are being washed or when they are being examined or when people are looking at them. To me, that is not integrity. Integrity is you behaving well regardless of what is happening. And of course, the scripture told us something that I want you to keep in your hand. The second uh, lesson or the second uh, book is Second Corinthians chapter 8 verse 21. That's also about integrity as well. Second Corinthians chapter 8 verse 21. If you see it, Prov please read it. Providing honorable things, not only in the sight of the Lord, Benny. but also in the sight of men. Benny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You've got to be good at all times. Whether in sight of people, most importantly, in sight of God. Because all this, look at us. I'm so happy each Sunday we are always full here. Yeah, because we've all worked very hard during the week, Monday to Saturday. And then we believe that it is good to associate with God. And that's why we all come here. Look, our faces are radiant. And God of Celestia is always with us. God bless you. Please let us also read Hebrew chatting. On this occasion, verse 18 of Hebrew 13. That's also about integrity. Hebrew 13, verse 18. Pray for us, for we are confident that we have a good conscience Amen. in all things desiring to live harmoniously. Hallelujah. Hosanna, please. Hosanna. Hosanna. That again has confirmed that. If you are behave, if you behave well at all times, God will always be your your keeper and will always be with you. The next one I have is Ecclesiastics chapter five, and we will read from verses four to six. Benny, Benny. The far not to pay, yes? Gar Benny. Benny. Benny, Dan. And not. Benny. Is that six up to six? Please sit down. Thank you. Integrity is what I'm talking about. And of course, if you are praying and you say, I'm going to buy a Rolls Royce for church. Nobody has asked you to do that. You have chosen to say that yourself. And of course, you know you cannot afford to buy a Rolls Royce. Why say what you cannot do? See? Being a, a, a person of integrity, whatever he says he will do, he does it or she does it. And whatever he says or she says she will not do, no matter what is going on. 
they will not do it. And so, therefore, uh, we all get carried away. In fact, one of these uh, things people send on social media, they said, when you are happy, don't make any promise. So when you are angry, don't say any word. Oh. These are important things because we can get carried away. We can be carried away and say what we don't mean. Please, if you promise, fulfill your promise. The next one is James chapter 5, verse 12. The book of James chapter 5, verse 12. I hope you all have your candles. We are going to pray in due course. By the time we have read all this, we will, we are almost there. As, as but above have. all, my brethren, yes. do not swear, either by heaven or by earth. Then, or with any other oath. Then, but let your yes be yes, then, and your no be yo, lest you fall into judgment. Hallelujah. Oh, Zana. Oh, Zana. Oh, Zana. Oh, Zana. I'm too used. I am too used to saying hallelujah. Right. So, again, that is integrity. Let your yes be yes, and your no be no. Okay? And of course, before you say the yes, think carefully. Because if you say the yes, you cannot stand by, then you are not a person of integrity. And if you say a no, you cannot stand with. Again, your integrity is in doubt. God bless you. The next one is Ephesians chapter 4. And we'll read verses 24 and 25. Ephesians 4. 24 and, and that you put on the new man, Amen. which was created according to God, Amen. in through righteousness and holiness. Therefore, putting away lying, let each one of you speak truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Hosanna. 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 Again, that is another evidence why we to be of good faith. You cannot be lying. If you, are, if you are used to deceiving others, you want to find your get your way and you start to, to twist facts, that is not integrity. Integrity is somebody that will say what is right at all times. The last one is Galatians chapter 6. This is also about good behavior, but verse 4 is the one I need. But let each one examine his own works. Amen. And then he will have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. Amen. For each one shall bear his own load. Amen. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let, please, let him, please read on, read on, carry on. Let him who is taught the world share in all good things with him who teaches. Amen. Do Amen. not be deceived. Amen. God is not mocked. Oh. I know my God. But whatsoever a man shows, he that he will also reap. Osana. Osana. Thank you very much. If you sow in integrity, you are going to reap with full integrity. Or if you sow by lying, deceit, being deceitful, and not be honest to yourself. Because uh, see, if you deceive others, in most cases, you are deceiving yourself. You lie to others, in most cases, you are lying to yourself. Of course, you will get what you need at temporary time. Yeah, uh, you, you might get money from them or get whatever favor you need. But in the end, you will know that you have not attained or acquired this with honesty. And of course, to see God, you have got to be honest. Because if you are honest, you will not do all these things that uh, we do in order to please ourselves rather than please God. My prayer is that um, God will continue to elevate us so that we be people of integrity. Because if we associate ourselves with Jesus Christ, and we cannot do like him, we cannot behave like him, then we, we still need 
to redraw or to redesign what we are about. We are about what is good. And that is why we create time to spend time here. And I'm convinced, I'm confident that God in his mercy will continue to bless us all. At this point, I want to congratulate Uncle Solomon. Who is now no longer Uncle Solomon? He is now being promoted. He is now Daddy Solomon. He knows that. You see, when when his sister had had the, I think it was the twins. Was it the twins? Yes. Then I called him. I said, from now on, you'll be called Uncle Solomon. And since then, I have called him Uncle Solomon. On Friday, the news broke. I sent a text to him. I said, you are now Daddy Solomon. God will bless you. Amen. We are all very delighted. In fact, the baby came at the right time. Time, the, the good time of the year. Where, where, where this is a good time to, to, to be born. And my prayer is that all those are brothers or sisters that are still looking forward to God to be blessed in this way, they will all be very blessed. Amen. And my prayer is that God will continue to be with you. Right, what I want you to quickly do before we decide, before I leave here, we should pray unto this candle. And then I will also pray unto the church. And uh, we will also say, say the great. So therefore, let us quickly, just for a few seconds, Let's pray to God. Ask God to give us the power to forgive whoever, those that are grudging us or those that we are grudging, so that in the end, our journeys in this life will not be a wasted journey. Quickly. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Holy Michael, our most merciful and everlasting Father, we thank you because you have not left us unhelped, you have not left us unprotected, we have not left us unguided. This is why you have asked us to do this. We have done it, Father. Forgive us all. Amen. The power that will ensure that we see no more given to us. Never leave us alone. Answer all our prayers now and forevermore. May the grace of God the Father, the grace of God the Son, that of the Holy Spirit, because we have done according to what you have asked us to do, let it be well with us. Continue to direct us aright. Never leave us alone now and forevermore. Collection. Thank you. 